Okay, so in this video, we are adding our cool details that are gonna make this a nice finished um, project. And uh, it's really gonna tie everything together, okay? So um, this is where we're gonna add our stars, okay? So what you're gonna need, um, like I showed you earlier, um, is some kind of white ink, or like I said before, if you have some white paint, like acrylic paint, <clears throat> you uh, could water that down a little bit and um, use that, okay? It just needs to be liquidy because we're gonna spray our um, stars onto our galaxy here and it really needs to be a, a loose mixture, okay? So um, there are a few techniques to doing your stars, okay? Um, I just like to take a stiff bristle brush. This is a brush that's kind of a junk brush. <laughs> it's br bristles are, they were kind of stiff to begin with and now it's just kind of got a bunch of junky paint in there. Um, so I keep it around for when I want to do things like this. So I'm going to take my brush. <clears throat> I'm going to get in here to my ink. Okay. And I could pour it out a little bit, but that's okay. And so what I like to do is I like to hold my um, brush parallel to my paper and I just take my finger and go up and it shoots the paint down, okay? Like that. Some people, um, here, let me pour this out so I can get to it. It's kind of thick. You know what? Let's use something different. My white India ink has gotten a little thick, so we're going to use this calligraphy ink. It's a lot looser. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. That'll work. All right. So what some people like to do whoops, <clears throat> is they will hold their brush, again, parallel to um, the piece of paper, and they will tap. If you want bigger stars, that's very helpful. Okay, so you can do kind of a combo of bigger fat stars. And then if you want little thin stars, you can do the flicking technique. And I like to do the flicking technique and kind of go in bands because I think it makes it look like, um, like Milky Way. So fun. Is that not fun or what? <laughs> I could I could honestly keep going and going and going, but at some point you need to stop making stars. Okay, so there you go. Is that not fun or what? So um, here's our next detail. Um, we're going to add trees to this. If you want to just leave it here at this step, that's totally fine. I get it. This is gorgeous as it is. Um, so if you don't want to add the next detail, um, that's A-OK, okay? okay? We're going to add some trees to make this look like a forest night sky. Okay, and so this is just calligraphy ink that I got um, at a little calligraphy workshop. So I'm going to be using it. And so, uh, oh, I need, you really need a skinny brush for this, okay? Um, you could also maybe, if you really didn't have a skinny brush, um, you could maybe use a toothpick or something like that, or you can take the tippy tip of your um, round brush and use that, okay? So I like this brush. This is an actual liner brush. So I'm just going to dip my ink in, or dip my paint in my ink, rather. And I'm going to make vertical lines going up, okay? And so... They don't have to be um, perfectly straight. They don't have to be all the same size. In fact, I like to make them look quite varied. Some can be fatter, some can be thicker, because this is going to be your forest, and every forest is not full of trees that all look the same. 
even if they're the same kind of tree, they don't all look the same. Okay, so I have my lines. Those are gonna be my trees, okay? Um, so this is how I like to do <clears throat> my tree branches and whatnot. Um, I like to, here, I'm gonna turn this sideways a little bit so I can get, get to my paper here. Um, I like to do kind of zigzag patterns and just kind of start at the tip top. And so since these are fir trees, I feel like it's a fun way to mimic fir tree branches. If you have another way to do your trees, a-okay. You can also take the <clears throat> end of a bristly brush and just kind of dab your branches in. Don't feel like they have to be perfect because every tree is going to look different, especially when it's just the silhouette. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on going. Okay, so there we go. Is that not cute or what? All right, so here's the moment of truth. Da, da, da. Taking off the tape is the best part. I love it. It's my favorite part. All right, I cannot tell you guys how much fun I've had showing you how to do these. I'm so glad you were here. All right, woo! Kind of tore my paper a little bit, that's okay. Okay, let's get that out of the way. What do you think? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I cannot wait to see what you guys um, come up with. Um, I love seeing everybody's Galaxy Night Skies because, every, like I said, everyone looks different and it's, um, 
funny that a lot of times they kind of uh, reflect people's personalities. So I love it. So um, feel free to um, share this in the Facebook group. Okay.